Okay, in this video we are going to learn how to create a custom task in Sim School. And once you're logged in, you see your little My Sims area here in the middle, which is where you would find your custom Sim student. We're going to go ahead and skip down here though to Sim Creator, just below there, to create a new Sim. And we're going to pick Task. And the first thing that we're going to see is uh, the description. And you see this drop down here and it says task category. Just a little bit about that. These levels here, recall, skill slash concept, strategic thinking, and extended thinking, um, refer to the, the, the level of task that you're creating. Remember when you're using a SIM module, you know, running the SIM module, you have little L1, L2, L3, L4, you click those, you can see the list of tasks associated with each. Well, L1 refers to recall. L2 is a little more advanced, so that's skill concept. Uh, level 3 task involves strategic thinking. And then, of course, a level 4 task is the most complex, and that would refer to extended thinking. For this exercise, I want you to create two tasks at two different levels. And what level that you create the task for is up to you. I'm going to start off with a level two task, skill and concept. You also need to give the task a name. <laughs> I'm not going to be really original here. I'm going to call it my level. Oh, hey, I've done this before, as you can see, my level two task. You've also got to provide a, br a brief description here. And again, I really don't, it really doesn't matter what you use, but uh, Sim School is going to require that you put something here. I think that says it all. All right, now um, this the next section is where we set the attributes, and I would like you to do the attributes for your tasks, whether they're level three, level two, level four, level one. Um, I would like you to do them all, much like you did with the custom student, where you will. Um, I'll I'll leave it up to you how you set your academic level and your language proficiency, uh, but use your uh, the feedback you got from the five factors exam to set your other scores, extroversion, I had 34 which is relatively high so I'm gonna say eh, I think that's pretty high uh, agreeableness also relatively high so that's here conscientiousness was about average so I think I'm gonna just do that Neuroticism is relatively low. In this case, that's not a bad thing. And again, just like when you create a custom student, that's a little counterintuitive. If you're low, then that means you tend to be more stable. If you get a high level, then you're going to be a little, a little more towards the unstable end. And let's see, what else do I have left? Openness. And on that, I'm also relatively high. So. Um, back here to openness and I think that's good and then remember what was your learning style previously and if you got if if both if you did two inventories and they were both the same like mine result was I'm gonna say high visual and I'm gonna leave auditory and kinesthetic where they are if you got mixed results say one test said visual one said auditory auditory then I'd like you to kinda you know favor them both and you might even knock this other one down just a little bit that that's up to you uh, if you only took one of the surveys then just go with go with your answer and in my case I'm definitely a visual learner once I do this and hit submit then I have a level two task all set up and as you can see here I already have my level three task what I'd like you to do though is repeat this step again and you can do that just quickly by clicking the create new task button and just repeat repeat the process but with a different level 